Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Joshua 11 of the King James Version Bible and it reads And it came to pass when Jabin, king of Azar, had heard those things that he sent to Jobab, king of Medan, and to, king, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Hashaph, and to the kings, to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and to and of the plains south of Shinaroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor, on the west, and to the Canaanite, on the east and on the west, and to the Amorite, and to the and the Ettite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite, in the mountains, and to the Hevite, on the Hermon, in the land of Mispe. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. And when all the kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Merom to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel, that thou shalt hew shall hew their horses and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came and all the people of war with him against them by the waters of Merom suddenly, and they fell upon them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them and chased them unto great Zidon and unto Mizrephoth Maim and unto the valley of Mizpe, eastward, eastward, and they smote them until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him, and hold their horses, and burned their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Azor, and smote the king thereof with a sword. For Azor before time was the head of all those kingdoms, and they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe, and he burned Azor with fire. And all the cities of those kings, and all the kings of them, did Joshua take, and smote them with the edge of the sword, with the edge of the sword, and he utterly destroyed them, as Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded. But as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Azor only, that did Joshua burn. And all the spoil of these cities and the cattle the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves. But every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them. Neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded, Moses, his servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills, and the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same, even from the Mount Alec, that goeth up to Seir, unto, even unto Baal-Gad, in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon, and all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hevites, the inhabitants of Gibeon, all other they took in battle. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Ebron, from Deber, from Anab, Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel, Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel, 
only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod there remained. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said unto Moses, and Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel according to their divisions by their tribes, and the land rested from war. All right, so here we see where the children of Israel have overtaken all the land that God had commanded unto Moses, which Moses had passed down to Joshua. So here we see where it is being fulfilled. Everything that the Lord had told them to do was coming to pass. Everything that the Lord had bade them to do, they had done. And so there was no time of rest. And I want to let you know this. In this chapter, we see where they fought against many nations. The children of Israel fought, led by Joshua, fought against many nations, right? As the Lord would have them and as the Lord would bid them to do. And they did so. And there came a time of rest from war, a time of basically peace as we see in the last line, in the last sentence of this chapter. And uh, this is to show you that even though there are many battles ahead of you, even though there are many battles that you'll have to fight, there will be a time of calm, a time of peace, and a time of rest. So just like the songwriter says, ride out your storm, Okay, ride out your storm until it is over. Because weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And it's not weeping because they are victorious through Christ Jesus. And that is exactly how your battles will be. I mean, the devil will put struggles after struggles, obs obstacles after obstacles, battles after battles in your way. But you need to fight. You need to remember whose you are and let him be your guide. Let him be your guiding light. Let him be your strength. Let him be your anchor. Let him be your guide. Okay? Let him be your everything. Let him be your all in all. And you'll most definitely be victorious if you recall when the children of Israel went against I at the cut and they did not follow the leading of the Lord. The children of the city and the nation of High actually destroy them that the nation of I they had to fled from before their faces but when they went under the banner of God mighty God then they were the ones who were victorious and the children and nation of high had to flee from before them because the presence of God was with them because God was with them and a Abide with them. He indeed abided with them. And so they were conquerors. And if that is not a reason for you to take on this Christian journey, to take on this battle, to take up this mantle and follow Jesus, take up your cross and follow him then I don't know what else is. I don't know what else is going to convince you. I don't know what else is going to make you come to the realization of how awesome God is and that we need him in everything. You know that song that says, I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. That's it. We need God. He's our sustenance. He's our source of strength. He's our guide. With him we're everything. But without him, we're nothing. And so I want you to remember that, okay? Because even though you're struggling right now, as long as you have God with you, you be victorious. No matter what lie the devil tries to bring at you, no matter what disguise he comes under, you'll always be able to prevail and to be an overcomer through Christ Jesus. I want you to just remember that. Keep that in your mind, okay? And let yourself be subject unto God. 
let yourself be led by him let his spirit move through you to lead guide and direct you hallelujah thank you jesus guys is indeed an awesome thing to be in the presence of God hallelujah it is indeed an awesome thing to know that even in your downtime even in your trials even in the worst battles you can ever face in your life the worst trials you can ever face to know that you have a savior that is with you a savior that will guide you a savior that will keep you and sustain you it is indeed an awesome thing and i want you to feel that i want you to feel god's presence i want you to feel how good it is to be in his presence to be engulfed in his love to know that he is indeed by your side with each and every step because he tells us time and again but until you've actually submitted yourself unto him and to allow him to take full control and to allow him to be your strength then you won't get to enjoy that feeling that comes with knowing that you are indeed under the protection of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name. So guys, I want you to take that. Take the fact that the Lord is with you through every battle, through every trial is with you. And your rest shall come. Alright guys. Alright, so please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so you're alerted to whenever a new audio video is posted and guys please don't forget to share your thoughts your revelations and your comments down below okay continue walking in faith keep your salvation in if you've not yet claimed it then i pray that you'll actually claim it at this time okay take on the challenge all right guys have yourselves a blessed day bye